Hi Ted, I hope you're watching this. Uh, I imagine your inbox must be overflowing all the time. So maybe, probably, you don't take the time to check every video response that you get. I can certainly understand that. I am just a fledgling upstart rant artist myself and I'm a big fan of yours. So I'm going to entitle this video uh, Tenebris T is guilty of slander and I'm going to sue him. Hopefully to uh, pique you to look at this video and I'm sorry if uh, it alarmed you. It's just a ploy. But I have something really important to say to you and I want you to hear it and I hope that you'll respond to it. Uh, each of us is constantly inundated with, uh, we're swimming in a veritable ocean of information. Uh, and it's just, it's an endless labyrinth. So we all do the best that we can. And I know that you're doing the best that you can. So here is what I have to uh, tell you and ask you. First, have you read Jim Stone's Fukushima report, which proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Israel did Fukushima? I just wonder because I haven't never I've never seen you comment on it or say anything about it. That puts you in the ranks of people like Jeff Rents, who actively suppressed that report. And when I wrote about that report at HenryMacow.com, Jeff Rents told Henry Macow, not only will I not link to that, you will not post it on your own site or I will sever relations with you. And Henry said, to his eternal credit, and it started a you know, war on the internet. This is not like 9-11, where there is room for conjecture and room to disagree. If you read that report, it's ironclad. It's at www.jimstonefreelance.com. It is a diamond, a pristine diamond of truth. You know, it's just, it's like a unicorn. It's so rare. It's a mermaid, it's a mis mythical beast of truth. I think you're honest, I think you just haven't seen it. But I would like feedback on this. <clears throat> now just so you know, I'm a credible person and I deal with credible people. Jim Stone, not his real name, I know his real name is a former NSA analyst and he uh, he has a lot of valuable information to give the world and for his Fukushima report he had his livelihood destroyed he went on a flight that was like I mean I'm not exaggerating like uh, Harrison Ford in The Fugitive And uh, he escaped the Gulag, United Soviet States of America, to Mexico, where he is currently trying to find asylum in another country, and I'm trying to help him find asylum here. <clears throat> so that is credible person number one. The guy has like 190 IQ, and his research is flawless. And if there crops up an occasional flaw, he corrects it publicly, as he recently did, over the fucking bullshit about reactors three and four. <clears throat> so Jim Stone is credible person number one, and he is my friend. <clears throat> and credible person number two, um, yours truly, Ted. Uh, I perceived globalist 
attack on this society and I asked Jim where is the root I want to go after the root Jim where is it and he sent me a, a URL and he said there it is be careful well apparently I wasn't careful enough Ted because uh, I ended up in jail for pissing those people off but guess what Korea has good police and they listened to me and they treated me very well they like Jim Stone they're on my side and I believe that uh, this country is the globalists graveyard and I'm enumerating reasons for that at this blog and uh, more especially at my love and light blog which I will link to so anyway um, I would really appreciate seeing a response and a commentary from you on uh, Jim Stone's Fukushima report because it's a litmus test for the alternative media which is being vetted out right now that thing is like a barium tracer. You look at who's ignored it and who has honored it. Degare, what really happened, natural news. They all reported it, but shit, man. I mean, it is not to be denied, Ted. Not to be denied. So now we move on to like uh, other issues of credibility. You've been attacking Benjamin Fulford lately. And um, I've been watching Fulford for years and wondering and going, huh? Well, I've been in touch with him. I've talked to him on the phone, emailed, uh, and I'll tell you two things. Number one, when Jim Stone went to the Japanese embassy in Mexico City, he dropped Fulford's name, and they ushered him into the embassy without even checking his ID. Now, you could take that in different ways, but uh, one thing it does say is that the man has clout. Uh, the other thing is that after I got out of jail, Jim Stone wrote a, an open letter to the South Korean police in my defense. I forwarded that letter to Benjamin Fulford and he immediately had it translated into Korean by one of his operatives and placed on the Korean internet. So he personally came to my aid in a time of crisis. And I will add on top of all of this that uh, some of the good news that you're surprised by recently, including Iceland, corroborates him. So we're all swimming in a sea of uh, mixed information and disinformation and our worldviews evolve. Um, I hope you're not so stuck in yours that there's no room for evolution. I think that uh, you're great. I'm a fan. I, I'm building a, a playlist on my own channel of I call I call you the king of rant, and you are. You're you're fucking great, man. Fucking great. You've you've gotten me through many a night. You've helped me turn my la my despair into laughter. So uh, I honestly just want to reach out to you, and I hope that you'll see this. And I'm going to call this video Tenebrous T is guilty of slander, and I'm going to sue him or something like that. And, uh, and I'm going to put not, because I don't want to be guilty of libel, even in a video title. But I'm just hoping to spark your attention and get you to watch this. Um, 
I know the ninja story is crazy. I know the dragon thing sounds totally nuts, but really there's a lot going on nowadays that, that corroborates it. And I'm still, the jury is still out, you know, but I think you might be ill-advised to like come out and ridicule him and, and rant against him because I've had this personal experience with Fulford. So, um... That's all I really have to say right now. Uh, I hope that you see this and you're not pissed off at me. I, I think that you're awesome. Uh, and I, I'd love to be your friend. So I'm gonna close. This is James Fargon, Ted, kudos, over and out.